to you by Allstate, whose policies now include protection for your home, your family, as well as your car. You're in good hands with Allstate. And now, let's all play What's My Line? And now, let's meet our award-winning panel of What's My Line? First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now, a gentleman who will be presenting one of the awards on the Academy Awards show next, a week from Monday night, and who has just finished a picture called Lover Come Back with Doris Day and Rock Hudson. Lover Come Back. Tony Randall. Thank you, my love. <laughs> now everybody knows. <laughs> Big mouth is here, everybody knows. And now, since I am nothing if not fickle, may I introduce my love, Dorothy Kilgallen. <laughs> And now, since they we're being very loving, let's be loving to our next panelist, whom we all adore, my fellow columnist on King Features Syndicate, Bennett Cerf. And here's the panel moderator who makes CBS stand for charming, brilliant, and sophisticated, John Charles Day. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bennett. I think that's Midwest influence. Bennett's going up to uh, North Dakota, Minnesota, and Missouri this week. And he knows I've got uh, a lot of relatives up there, you know. <laughs> I hope you have a nice time. Thank you. With my relatives. <laughs> and it's nice to have Mr. Randall back with us. Although this doesn't change the rules of the game, our purpose tonight is still to give the panel as much trouble as we can with some very nice people who've brought some very interesting occupations. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the program, and we'll meet our first challenger. Well, Bennett, you were so nice, I thought I'd delay the word. Put on the blindfolds, please. Oh. Dorothy's hair is so beautifully fixed, not to mention Arlene's. Or Bennett's. Or mine. That, uh... Well, Brilliant. we've got the blindfolds on, as you... I don't need to tell you, uh, because we have some area of identification here which would involve one or all of you. And now, are the blindfolds all in place? And I think they are. Well yes. shielding the eyes. Would our first challenger come in and sign in, please? Mr. X, right? <laughs> Mr. X, um, you know how we keep score. Every time you get a no from the panel, we will yes. slip a card, ten no's, and you've won the game. All right. Then we'll let the audience at home and those who are here in the theater with us know exactly what your line is. Panel, we'll tell you that Mr. X is self-employed and deals in a service, and we'll begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Does your service have anything to do with the arts? Yes. Uh, is your name? Would your name or your face be uh, recognizable to anyone here on the panel? I think I must answer that question to you if I will. The answer is yes, and that is why we have asked for the blindfold. Well, I only said because it may be just a costume that I... I just no, th to... that's why I'm being specific okay. about it, Miss Harlan. That's why you have the blindfolds on, mm -hmm. because one or more of you might well recognize our guest. Is the industry that you are associated with it the television industry? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Wren. May I assume that you are not a performer? No. I may not so assume. Well, you may presume, may he presume you are not a performer? More conference. 
Yes, you may presume that our guest is not a performer. Yes. Now, in his association with a given art, may I also presume that he is not a practitioner of that art? <laughs> well, uh, the ninth, I think spring is wonderful, though, don't you all? <laughs> I'm not quite sure, Tony, are you suggesting here... I was suggesting, I'll make it clear, that uh, the, our guest is... My thought is that he might be more on the management side of art rather than in the... Uh, Artistic act. side. Yes. I see. That'll give you a no answer. Uh, That's two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. He's not then you are side. on the artistic side of some art, is that right? Yes. Are you creative? Yes. Do you have anything to do with music? No. Uh, it's more, wait a minute, it's more conference. Dorothy, our guest and uh, I would like to be very fair. Uh, his activities in his particular discipline in the arts, if that is a word you can apply to the arts, uh, would encompass certainly some relative equations to music as it is used to uh, make it compatible with uh, an affirmative answer to the question that you've asked. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, John. Uh, do you deal with words in your work? You deal with... Yes. Yes. W with written words? Yes. Are these words ever eventually sung? They could be, I would say. Yes. Do you write for musical comedy? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. <clears throat> Have you anything to do with a show that is now on Broadway or that might be coming to Broadway in the very near future? You're speaking now of the, the Broadway stage in I'm terms of musicals, the dramas. The legitimate theater. The legitimate right. theater. No. That's four down and six to go, Miss Friends. <clears throat> do you have anything to do with the picture industry? Yes. Do, and you are not a performer. Are you something other than American? Yes. Are, do you have anything to do with foreign films? Yes. Now, I didn't quite understand Tony's answer. You, you, uh, he... I didn't understand my question. <laughs> no, but he is not a performer in the arts, and yet he was not a manager in the arts either? Or did I get that? Uh... Oh, that's right. He is, an, he is on the artistic side. But he is not a performer. Is it correct to say that you are not a performer in the arts yourself? Well, if here we're taking... You see, the trouble we have here is the word performer. When it an was actor. first used, we accepted it as an actor or actress, and there you get the answer that he is not a performer. That's he right. is not, yes. Mm. But he has something to do with foreign films. Do you, d do you uh, distribute foreign films in America? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Randall. I have a hunch. Um, are you a movie director? No. That was a rotten hunch I had. <laughs> <laughs> Six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Um, not a director. Not a, you're not a composer, is that correct? Mm-hmm. Are you a movie producer? Yes. Uh, but you're a producer who does not direct, is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. May I assume you are not Otto Preminger? <laughs> yes, you may. Are you Joe Levine? No. That's seven down and three to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, have any of your productions ever been distributed by MGM? No. Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis? Now, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> I know you will. Uh, are you a producer of a foreign star who has made headlines all over the world, I would think, and certainly in America. Oh, I'll maybe. answer that, yes. Okay. Is, the, is, the, is the person that you have produced... <laughs> that's not the way to put it. <laughs> Are you the man behind Brigitte Bardot, yeah, but not too right. far behind? <laughs> Raoul Levy? Oh, you were in the dark so long, my eyes hurt. 
That's very good. I flipped all the cards over, actually, because we should have, have given the panel, I think, the prize when they got to movie producer, because yes. our guest is a movie producer, but we wanted to see if you could also name him, and you've done so, and named Bridget Bardot. And we thought we'd have a lot of fun with you, because I believe you got off the plane at 4 o'clock this yeah, afternoon. That's why I look sleepy. That's why he looks sleepy. Yes, and he's I here didn't for... Um, here anymore. Well, he's he just came in for an he opening of a movie, The Truth, which yes. won the equivalent of the American Oscar for yes. 1960 in France. Yes. So he's flown over, and we took him off a plane at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Thought that would puzzle you particularly and forever. It and would it have puzzled did. us even more if he'd brought Brigitte with him. <laughs> 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 Thank okay. you very Thanks much, sir. Nice to have had you as our guest in What's My Life. <laughs> All right, panel, let's see what you can do with our second challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Joby Arnold. Is that right? <laughs> uh, is it Miss or Mrs. Arnold? Miss. Miss Arnold, and where are you from? I'm recently from Florida. Recently from Florida. That explains a wonderful suntan. May I present the panel, Miss Arnold? Hello. You join me over here, please. Do you know how we keep score? Yes. All right, then we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel, we can tell you that Miss Arnold is salaried, deals in a service, and we'll begin the general questioning with um, Bennett Surf. Miss Arnold, could you do the work that you do in Florida? Yes. Could you also do it in other places? Yes. Do you also do it in other places? Yes. Has your work got anything whatever to do with show business? No. No, don't think so. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. John, did I understand you say that Miss Arnold had to do with the service? Mm-hmm. Rather than, uh, do, uh, uh, do people come to you for your service? Yes. Do you work well, indoors? Well, let me say here that um, what we would mean to convey by that affirmative answer is that some affirmative action by the individual who wishes to make use of the service is necessary, although the physical transportation to the immediate vicinity of Miss Arnold might not necessarily be required. <laughs> sure, baby. <laughs> You do work indoors? Partly. Uh, can you uh, travel around in your work? Yes. Uh, does transportation have anything to do with your job? Yes. Are you transported on land? Yes. Now, this does not rule out the no. fact that our guest could at her own discretion, choose to move by air on those occasions where the distances which she wished to travel were substantial. Yes. Um, do, uh, uh, do you wear any special kind of uniform or costume or, uh, in your work? No. That is two down a date to go, Mr. Randall. Miss Arnold, you are a remarkably healthy-looking specimen. <laughs> Perhaps I should pass. Miss <laughs> Kilgallen? No, no, I was kidding. <laughs> is, is, is that Germaine? What did you say? Is that her name? No. Is, uh, is health uh, an attribute of your work? You mean necessary is a glowing condition? No, is it related to her work? Is her work in the field of health? Of good physical being. No, that's, no. that's thank you. That's three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. <laughs> Uh, is the costume that you wear when you're working something other than an ordinary street dress? No. That's four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Arnold, do you have anything actively to do with some company that has transportation as its primary purpose? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Do you, uh, uh, do you have to have training for your job? Yes. This does not, however, mean to indicate formal training. It's the kind of training which, you know, would be required to anybody uh -huh. who 
has an interest in a skill and then is willing to devote the time and energy to acquire that particular skill. You bet. Um, uh, do you advise people in any way in your job or instruct them in any way? Yeah. Uh, are the people that you instruct adults? <laughs> we hope. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, do you teach them or show them something that will uh, make them better human beings? <laughs> well, I think we could not say that it would make them better human beings, although we would agree that under certain circumstances they would consider that they were such. But that makes it six down and four to go, Mr. Randall. Do both men and women come to you? Yes. Yeah. Do you touch them? <laughs> no. At seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you give your instruction to people who are married or are likely to be married in the near future? <laughs> <laughs> Not for that particular purpose, sir. I see eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. Does that mean, uh, if we can interpret that answer correctly, uh, John, that would mean that uh, Miss Arnold does not give this advice to people who are married? No, what we're saying here is it's I think the context of Dorothy's question was married. particularly with uh, respect to the fact of approaching marriage. It certainly if married people, unmarried, could make use words, of the service. The advice that you give, Miss Arnold, has nothing to do with the state of matrimony or the state of having babies. Is that correct? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's right. It has nothing <laughs> that's to do. Right. <laughs> and we've also established it has nothing to do with people's health. Right. Uh, that would leave... Uh, possibly teaching them to do something that they had not previously known how to do before they came into your general sphere. Is that correct? Possibly. Certainly, I would think that if they accepted the service which is tendered, we would have to assume that they were now giving way to uh, expert advice where before they'd been, you know, just doing it on an amateur basis. Would, would this advice, Miss Arnold, enable them to do something possibly with their hands and legs that they had never been able to do before? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, nine down and one to go, Miss Francis. You deal with the mind then, Miss yeah. Arnold. In a matter of speaking, do you work for a nonprofit making organization? No. <laughs> and not no more. <laughs> Miss Arnold is a horse race handicapper, most oh. recently with the Miami Herald and Gulfstream in Miami, but you've just moved up to uh, the Kentucky races. Yes. And with uh, the Kentucky season on, you're working for the Lexington Herald. Yes. And you have... Actually, I must say this, that uh, lest we leave anything unsaid here that should be said, Miss Arnold has raised horses herself and is an expert about horses and now writes a column that's called um, uh, Jody Says, I believe, that's isn't correct. it? That's correct. And it's a handicapping column. Who's going to win the Derby, Miss Arnold? Read the Lexington Herald is the line that you say at that point. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's it's so nice, nice to have had you as a guest on Watch My Life. <laughs> we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first here is a word from our sponsor. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity for which the members of the panel are once again tonight blindfolded. Are the blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, John. Yes, John. Back Good. Back. Will you enter a mystery challenger and sign in, please? panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise. And let's begin it with um, Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you in show business? Yeah. Mr. Sir? <laughs> Are you at present appearing either in a play or in some nightclub or hotel room in the metropolitan area? Yeah. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Are you a comedian? Yeah. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Randall. Are you starring on Broadway? No. No, I am. No. I can't hear the television. Three down, the seven and to go, Miss Kilgallen. <laughs> uh, will you, within the next week, be appearing at a local nightclub? No. Nah. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, have you ever displayed this beautiful voice of yours on television? <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Miss Francis. <laughs> well, I... I'd like to ask if maybe you're a singer or a dancer, but... I will. Do you, uh, uh, do you have something to do with either singing or dancing? Yeah. Mr. Randall. Can't be singing. I, I don't want to ask a question that's already been asked, but, uh, are you about to appear on a Broadway show? Yeah. That's five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, don't I get one? Yeah, that's I'm sorry, Dorothy. Excuse me. Miss Kilgallen. Right, um, Madam Mystery Guest, uh, have <laughs> you... I know it sounds unlikely from over here, but have you ever sung an opera? Nah. Because of Christ. That uh, makes it um, six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. Do you do or have you ever been on a regular weekly television show? Uh-uh. <laughs> the look on Bennett's face was worth the price of admission, I would say, at this juncture. <laughs> that makes it... Seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. Well, are you mostly known for your performance in motion pictures, then? Uh. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this actually, Arlene, uh, is a tough question to answer. I would say it would be fair to assume that if subjectively your principal interest in the area of general entertainment was the movies, then you would certainly hold that our guest's fame has come principally from that area. However, oh, if your subjective interest was in another area, you might hold that the reputation in your terms had come from the other area. But so I think you get basically a yes. Class dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, are you, uh, are you in a film that is about to open hereabouts? No. <laughs> Ain't that a thing I'm hot go? tonight, <laughs> Miss Kilgallen. Well, regardless of where you're working now, do you ever work nightclubs? Uh. What's that? Like the picture business. Yeah. <laughs> How's I business think the been? fair answer there, Dorothy, would be very occasionally. Would you say that's right? Very occasionally, Mr. Sir. We've already established that our mystery guest is not primarily a comedian, have we not? Yes, we have. Uh, would you describe yourself as reasonably beautiful? I will describe her as very beautiful. Uh, is that you my just, question? Uh, 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 you asked your question. Oh, Ms. I was Francis? I was just by way of uh, comment. By what of <laughs> Oh, come now, Miss Francis. Well, I, I, I have to go back to where I was before. When I, uh, she answered to dance or sing, yeah, and uh, therefore <laughs> I'd like to eliminate one of those. Uh, are you primarily known as a singer? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mr. Randall? Did you sing on television tonight? No. Nah. Nine down and one to go, Miss Kilgallen. Oh, can we take a... Uh, can, have, can we have a little conference? You can have 30 seconds, seconds for a conference. I wonder, Dorothy, if, I wonder if she's... Uh, could she uh, be uh, Connie Francis or somebody like that? Maybe she could... Ask if, if she had these spectacular measurements, might be Anita Eckberg. No, but... <laughs> no. 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 I'm sure she's saying. Anita Eckberg <laughs> doesn't have to sing. <laughs> well, conference uh, over. All right. Have, have you made uh, any LPs recently in a foreign language, in a language other than English? No. Nah. That's ten down and no more to go. You've been skirting all around the edges. Take your masks off and meet, I'm sure, a friend of many of you, Julie London. Julie! Oh. <laughs> You know, the, the funny part is, the one area you didn't really get into was a television show in the near term. You got to Broadway, you got to everything else, and actually Julie's here because you're going to be in with Gary Moore. I'm not sure. That right. It's not this Tuesday. It's a week from Tuesday. That right. Julie's going to be on Gary Moore's show. So if you'd gotten into television, all this would have been easy. But we're happy because we had Julie here longer than we thought we were going to have. Right, and she looks beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank That's you nice to have you with us. Thank What's you. my life? tonight panel congratulations and we'll be back after this word from our alternate and good night Arlene Francis thank you good night John good night Tony happy awards thank you good night my love good night dear good night my love that's a wonderful haircut <laughs> you too John good night oh, thank you Bennett <laughs> beware North Dakota Minnesota and Missouri and thanks for being with us on what's my line 
My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Todman. Learn what you can do in the battle for freedom. Write for a free digest of the report of the President's Commission on National Goals. Write Gold, Box 1776, New York, 17, New York. What's my...